Hey everyone, Karen the Warp Spinster here. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Today I am reminding myself to have fun while I'm doing all of this. My motto is if it isn't fun, what's the point? And last week I was a little a little stressed, I guess. So good reminder to me just go with it and have fun. We are exploring, not perfecting. And if, you know, we perfect something along the way, so much the better. So this is what we did last week. <laughs> it was a struggle. This was fine, mostly. This, I'm still not happy with this up here, and I was going to redo it, and then I realized I'd rather just redo the whole thing if I decide that I, I want this piece, because those brown glue blobs are bugging me. So... Uh, and they are very difficult to remove. So this will be um, definitely an exploration practice piece, learn some things, and if I proceed with this, then I will just make another one. So this week we are going to work some more on this and then maybe get a start at least in the planning of this one. Last week we did the serpentine thing here. Um, I just a few minutes ago stitched this down with invisible thread and we all seem to like the curve. <laughs> so I gave it a little curve. This is a, a straight of grain piece so I couldn't give it too much curve but I gave it a little bit of curve. And we also played around with the triangles and that seemed to be really popular with people, gives it a little something, something. And I agree. I'm wondering if maybe I could find an orange for this circle would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Anyway, so before we get to that, I need to think about how I'm going to border these or applique those down. This week I have pinned down the stabilizer in the back because I got really annoyed watching the replay while I was editing that the just kept flapping around on the back and making funky sounds. So I have pinned that to try to minimize that. Sorry about that. Now, we, I had some lovely suggestions. Thank you all. Um, maybe put the green around here, which I think could be fun and the pink around here. I think those that's a good idea. Up here, I want to try something a little different, or maybe I want to do it down here. I'm not sure. Years ago, I bought a book. It was kind of a stained glass tree of life with scribble stitching for the applique around it. It was really, really striking. And I did some of it and then put it away for whatever reason. And as I was working on cleaning my studio, recently I came across it, realized I probably wasn't going to get it finished anytime soon. So I gave it to my friend Jeanette, who did finish it and looks great. I do not have that book any longer. I can't locate it. So and I'm I. I'm going to get hold of Jeanette and see if she'll take a photo of the cover for me so I can put it up here. I don't know if it's available any longer, but I want to acknowledge where the idea came from. All right, so basically you're just doing free motion stitching and she did it in black for this pattern. And I just thought, you know, that could be kind of interesting here in a modern quilt. Now. It takes a little practice, and so you lower the feed dog. You're just doing free motion however you can. You can see that I, that wasn't good. Got a little better here. Then I did a short piece here, and I really liked that because it has that sort of squared off modern kind of look that I like. Let's see if I can get better light here without too much sun coming in. And so I tried it then on this inner curve, and I liked that. Seriously, I want to try to get some light on here so you can see the stitching. And that may or may not help much. Maybe that's better. And it's quite wild and crazy. It's scribbling, and I think I like it. 
I like having that sort of squared off thing. There's that one stitch I like that is like three squares in a row and it kind of curves and does all that. And I like that concept. So I think I'm gonna give that a try on here or on here. I don't know which one, which one should I do? Let's do it on the green and we'll see what happens. This is a little bit padded. If you remember, I have some batting under there. Um, and I do still have some stabilizer under there. This had no um, batting under it or, oh, honestly, find your words, Karen. I didn't sleep well last night. Maybe the word got buried somewhere. The, the fusible web, that's what I'm trying to do. So I will give that a go on the outside here. The inside, I still don't know what I'm going to do, but let's give it a try. It wouldn't be the first time I ripped something out in this project, right? So I'm, I've got my feed dogs lowered. I've got black thread in there. I'm just going to do a sort of, it's not even a scribble. The scribble is sort of rounded, which you could do, but I am going to stay with the sort of squared off bit. Wish me luck. Well, that was quick and fun. I would... I like the concept a lot. I think I got better somewhat as I went along. You can see a couple of really wild jags out into the ether, which I don't especially like. But I'm going to leave it in just to see how it all fits in with other things that I do. I certainly can take it out and do something different there. It's just a different thing to try and a different look. I want to do something in the center here, probably also in black to kind of tie in with this. And then we'll probably do something different up there. Maybe I'll try a stitch with a green on that pink. So this is our sort of try out suggestions piece. This, mm, I don't know, just, some straight zigzaggy thing. Um, I do have a taper function on my machine, so I hit a button and it tapers down to zero and then hit another button and it tapers up again. So I don't know, maybe I'll give that a try. But since it's straight and I don't have to go around curves, it should be pretty easy. So I will do that just so we finish off this piece. Let me know what you think. Um, it's okay to say, yeah, not, not what I want. I think with more practice, I could get this closer to what I had in my brain. I remember that when I did this on the Tree of Life piece, I did get much better at it. And I think I also could work out better how I want to move in order to get that, that square-ish stitch that I like. I had a lot of triangle stuff going on in here, which is okay too, but not what I want. This is, is really not what I want. I think the beginning here maybe comes closest, um, but you know, it's pretty wild. It's pretty unpracticed, but that's an idea for what I could do with it. Love it, hate it, you know, could be either one. I understand either one. <laughs> All right, so let me do something here, just a zigzag, I guess. All right, I've been, I did a shorter, denser stitch than I've been doing in the past, and I kind of like it. I tried two different things, well, three different things, I guess, for doing these corners. One is just to start and stop at the corner, and I did just one or two little back stitches. It actually isn't as bad as I thought it would be as long as I consistently have some darker areas at the points. So the back stitch makes it a little denser and darker, of course. When I got to this really acute angle, I stitched and then I turned it and did a couple of stitches perpendicular, and then I turned it and went on. And that made kind of a nice little peaky thing there. And when I came over here, I thought, well, what if I just stitch off into the distance, <laughs> sort of? and then pick up and stitch back. So I have overlap on the stitches, but I think that looks okay. I like that actually. So that's an option going forward as well. All right, this is looking kind of graffiti-ish, isn't it? <laughs> I 
So up here, let's try it with the green and see how that looks. Just, this is an exploration practice piece. We're having fun and I think green on this pink would be kind of fun. Then I have to decide what stitch I want, which is a whole other story. Um, I have a cross stitch and as long as I'm doing a contrasting thread, that should be okay because it will show up on both the white and the pink, although it will show up more probably on the pink than the white, I think. Anyway, let's do that and I think a cross stitch. So I will, I will probably not load up a bobbin because <laughs> as you recall, I have some more coming. They may even arrive today. I don't know, but they haven't yet. I will find a bobbin of green somewhere. I'm sure I have a bobbin of green. <laughs> and I will do a cross stitch around here. I hope. Wish me luck in my exploration for bobbin. I did a, well, first of all, I did a zigzag on the inside and I really liked this overlapping bit. So I did that inside. I'm trying to tip this so you get better light. And then I did a cross stitch around the edge and it looks nice as a stitch. It goes, it curves around pretty well, but I think I want something more dramatic around it, um, especially when we've got this going on down here. <laughs> In some ways this calms it down a little bit, but this is pretty bold and modern-y and this is more like traditional. Traditional is not bad, don't get me wrong, but a different, I'm looking for something different here. Um, the color, the green against the pink, not sure how I feel about that, even with more light. Yeah, I think it's just not gonna show up well. The green on the pink just is not that good a contrast. But as you see, the stitch went pretty well. That wasn't the problem, but I think I do want something more dramatic. I'm thinking almost that that might be a place for this strip again. Zoom out so we get a better overall look here. I kind of think that would be fine. And even an invisible thread would work. This poor thing has gotten unpressed. Let me give it a quick repress here. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, other thoughts for what you would do differently, what you like. I have things that I like and some things that I like less. <laughs> So I'm sure you have opinions too. I kind of like that going around there. What do you think? It adds a little more drama to it. And if I were putting these say in the same quilt, then that would tie it together. So I think that is maybe what I would do there. In fact, I could just do that and cover up what's there. But we also want to, on this one, try out these extra pieces, these shapes. So we had a circle and a couple of triangles, but I think this would be too much pink with that. So I'm going to dig and see if I can find some orange that I can use for this circle instead. Now it blends in too much. Well, it's not really the right orange either. I thought about something with this, which is the same stripe that we had in here. Not that shape, of course, but that's a different sort of yellow. I mean, I don't need to get too matchy-matchy, but this is too gold. So I'll go searching again. I changed my mind about the orange because 
if I get a good match, then it's just going to blend in, which is what I was trying to avoid to begin with. So I have the yellow that pretty closely matches to the yellow there. Eh, I like that. And then I have a brighter yellow, which I think is better. Maybe it needs to be a different part of it that overlaps that. Maybe that needs to be a smaller circle. Hmm. Hmm. I like this bit of it, I think. Ties in everything except the green, of course. This side, I'm not sure about. Maybe I want a different fabric there. I do have some of that stripe which I don't think is, ooh, ooh. What if we did this around there? Would that be too much? Too, too much? You know what, I think I might give it a try. I'll make some, just a little strip of binding to see how that's going to, that would look. I think the black is gonna be better. What if we had, a piece of black, a black and white print. Sorry, I went away for a minute. <laughs> I kind of like that, but with this end toward it. And what if we had a black and white print floating around somewhere? How would that be? I think that would be too much. That's too much yellow circle going on. Could make the circle smaller, but. I don't want to overcrowd it, but I do want it to have some other stuff going on in the back there. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? I could... It almost still feels like I need some decorative stitches going this direction. Just so these aren't floating around in space quite so much. Not sure how I feel about that. I could do another stripe here, but I think that would be too much. I don't want these to be at the same angle. I think that's the best that I've looked at so far, but I'm going to go and just make a, a short strip of tape for this to try it out up there. I think it's going to be too much and it's a different yellow than that, but we'll see what happens. All right, so I can do this without my elbow in your face there. I think I like it as a concept because I like that strip to finish the edge, but I don't think that color, if we have that there. Now, if we were to move this down here, perhaps, it's a little big for down there maybe, then that might work. But this is a little large for down in the corner there. So we go back to this, if I can remember how I had it. I don't think I want that centered exactly between them. It's 
just another one of those. I don't like to be too symmetrical things. I'm not making you dizzy going in and out here. <laughs> I have a couple of friends that I communicate with on Marco Polo and I was moving around the house as I was talking to him yesterday. And <laughs> I think I made them seasick. All right, that's all right. And if we do the this stripe up here, is that too much black and white? I don't think so. There isn't. This isn't really an in your face kind of stripe. And I don't know how I'm going to put these on. They may just go on with invisible thread because you know, there's only so much excitement <laughs> that this piece needs. I really do think I want to do this though. I think that really adds something to the, the whole thing. And the more I look at this, actually, the more I'm, I'm kind of liking it as a concept. As I said, I do more practicing with it. I'm going to try just sort of gluing this with my sew line glue and just kind of see how that is. I don't think I even have to take out the green stitching. In fact, it might be kind of helpful to have it there to keep that held down. So let's see how that looks when it's glue basted on there. A couple other things I thought about trying is a another triangle up here to sort of tie that in. That's a possibility. But I thought we also need to tie in the orange. So what if we have orange, green, what if we have the green up there, maybe a larger size circle. And I thought, well, what if we had some, I'm just trying everything, what can I say? If we had some strips going across and that's definitely too much, definitely too much. Uh, so that's a no-go. I do like the idea of a circle up here. I might need a couple of circles though, maybe sort of cascading down like that, perhaps in different sizes, maybe not all green. Maybe I pull in a yellow. Let me try some different sizes and see how that looks. I don't want to overload it, but it just does need something else. And I thought maybe this overlapping something would be more as if it's in a free fall sort of I've thing. Cut out some more circles. And I think maybe I'll start with a large green one up there, but it won't be, it will be coming off the edge like that. Well, better looking than that. <laughs> Need a pin here, see if we can control that a little bit. All right. Well, that's worse. All right, so it's going to go off the edge. <laughs> and then I think a black and white to maybe tie things in. Could be a different one than this, though, couldn't it? I have some other black and white prints, but it will do as a stand-in for now. And then I thought about another green there, but I decided to try a yellow, which sort of ties that in. In the spirit of just keep adding things <laughs> until you like something. I think I only want one of those and I don't want them to be particularly even. I want them to generally be going that way, but they don't have to be evenly spaced or all right that's better and I probably want to stop soon don't I oh oh what if
this ended up down here. Something overlap there. So this is free fall <laughs> or chaos or something. I want to try a different print here. Overall, I'm not unhappy with that. Happier than I thought I would be earlier. It's got more going on. Now there may be more I want to do in the background or maybe not. It may be a, a quilting sort of concept. Oh, actually the top of it's going to be here because that's the edge. I should probably just cut that so I don't confuse myself, huh? Which then gives us a different proportion. And that is important when we are deciding where things go and how they are grouped. Okay. Nope, oh, that's too much like that. All right, I think I'm looking for something like that. The arrangement may be, may be a little bit different. I think I don't want Hey. Sorry, I keep diving into my stash here. I'm pretty sure I don't want, that's too much pink up there. When it's got that there. And I might want this one to be just a little bit smaller because it's the same size as these and I'd like them to graduate a little. So I'm gonna trim that a little bit and then I think I'm leaving this for the All right, I like it better with that yellow a little smaller and I'm just going to cut that green and be done with it. And there's a little piece I could put somewhere else, I guess. Oh, I could have it coming off from the side and then these coming down. Hmm. Yep, I think I like it better from the top. Okay. Eh, I'm just <laughs> no, Karen, stop. All right. I am going to leave it here for the moment. Oh my gosh, it's way past lunchtime. And let me know what you think what you would add or take away, what you like best, what you might have done differently. Trying to get balance going here. I don't have any black and white going on over here. That definitely isn't the answer, but don't know how we're doing, doing in the way of balance there. Oh, I was going to do another, <laughs> another black and white print, wasn't it? Now I'm not so sure. Maybe a little better close up, but it isn't. I'm still going for the drama part of it, I guess. Let's see if I can find another black and white print that I think will work as well. But for now, I think that's it. Let me know what you think. I'm still thinking maybe I want something in there. And I will take a picture of this so I can remember <laughs> what it looks like. Yeah, Karen, just stop. Just stop, girl. Okay. Done with this for today. Now for, I gotta set this aside carefully. So I can take a picture and remember where everything is. So for this piece, 
I am thinking that I do want to do this striped binding, basically, I guess. It's not an edge, but it's a binding. I'm not sure uh, where I want to do that, on which of these I want to do it. Maybe down here, because I want that weight down there, because I've got that light pink. And I think that might be sort of fun. I also, let me grab the Alice pieces for us to read a couple of Alice pieces. And I really like this. And I like these shapes scattered. And these I just did with a zigzag in a contrasting thread complementary thread, I should say. And I just kind of like that. And if this is going to end up being a piece with these, then I want to have some things that tie them all together. I don't have to do exactly the same things, but in fact, a little contrast from it would be really nice. So maybe this one less busy than these. Um, hmm. not sure. Going to need to play with that, but I know I definitely want to do some of this stitching on the background. And again, we'll see about putting on some other shapes. Maybe we'll do some more couching of something in the background. So we'll see. I think this is going to be this much I think I know. <laughs> that I am going to do this with invisible thread. And one of these will be bound in that. And there will be decorative stitching on the background. Kind of liking this binding stuff going through there. So it's probably not going to be a lot of news ooh you know i still have some of this stripe and i could do that in oh that isn't a bias strip though i can tell by the way the stripe's going i could make this a bias strip out of this just for something a little different from the others i don't want to do a bigger stripe this is really got the attention, I think. I don't know. That really almost kind of looks better on one of the brighter reds, doesn't it? Hmm. Some things to ponder. Um, I'm not going to get to this today, so let me ask you this question. Sorry. Do you want to continue with working on this piece next week and watch what I do, or are you just bored out of your minds <laughs> and want to move on to something different next week and I'll just kind of do this behind the scenes and show you what I decide. Let me know in the comments which you would prefer. I fear I really am putting you all to sleep, <laughs> trying all these different things. So let me know. Um, and I'll figure out next week, depending on what you say. So please do let me know. It's okay to say we've had enough of this. Um, I kind of feel like we've had enough of it. So it's okay with me either way. I won't be insulted if you're, you're ready to be finished with this concept. So I hope that I will see you next week. Thank you so much for being here and being my quilting friends today. I want to wish you a happy new year. I hope it is a indeed a happy and healthy new year for everyone. And I hope I will see you back throughout the new year. Next week, we'll, uh, we're doing it by a democratic kind of vote, I guess. Let me know what you think. I hope I'll see you next week. In the meantime, be well, be safe, be happy, be quilting.
Peace out.